In this video, we will discuss some advanced scripting in the ANSYS as a server connection between MATLAB and Fluent. We will look at an overview of the Fluent Text User Interface, or TUI, in the Fluent console window. We will then discuss accessing the TUI commands from within MATLAB, specifically how default answers are handled, how exceptions are returned for incomplete commands, and finally, how to handle those exceptions. We will assume that the user has already established the ANSYS as a server connection between MATLAB and Fluent. Let's first quickly review the text user interface menus in Fluent. In the console window, commands can be entered manually by navigating to the appropriate submenu and then typing in the command. If you don't know the available commands or submenus, you can just hit the Enter key to list them. Note that any item which ends with a forward slash is another submenu. For example, I can switch to the Report submenu by typing in Report and hit Enter. I can then list additional commands under the Report menu by hitting Enter again. You'll notice there's a command under the Report menu called Summary. I can type in Summary and the report summary will reply with some additional defaults. I'll hit enter and the report is output. I could have also issued the summary command with the yes no prompt already answered by typing in summary and then no and hitting return. I can hit Q to return to the root menu. Again I'll hit enter to list the menus and from here I can type in the complete command with all the menus specified. For example, I can type in report, summary, no, and the report summary is output. Likewise before, if I just type report, summary, Fluent will prompt me for the answer to the yes no question as well as show me the default answer if I just hit enter. In this case I'll hit enter and the report summary is output. Now let's see how we can interact with the same commands from within MATLAB. We've already established the connection between MATLAB and Fluent using the ANSYS as a server toolbox add-in. Note we have set a variable TUI which we will use in our do menu command to string statements. Let's first issue the command do menu command to string and then just report summary. Notice that Fluent accepted the default answer of no on the yes no question and completed the command, returning the output back to MATLAB. Let me clear the command window and issue a similar command, report summary, but now adding a comma to the end of the report summary command. A comma indicates to the Fluent text user interface to use the default answer. When I hit enter, we get the same output as if the no default answer was specified. Again, I'll clear the window. This time I'll issue a similar command, but specify the no argument at the end of the report summary command. When I hit enter, we will get the report summary output. I'll clear the window again. And now let's see how we can instruct Fluent to instead prompt for the missing arguments if we do not specify them. We do this by appending a dash question mark to the end of the Fluent command. The dash question mark will instruct Fluent to determine if our command is complete, and if it is not, we'll throw an exception back to MATLAB. When I hit enter, notice that Fluent detected the dash question mark and confirmed that an additional argument is required, which was our yes no question. It then returned a Corva exception back to MATLAB. You'll see details in the exception that a yes no question error was returned. So now in MATLAB we must have a way to catch this specific exception and determine a course of action. If we look in the ANSYS documentation under Fluent, Fluent as a Server, SDK, then Fluent as a Server Corva interfaces, there's a specific page, Exceptions, which will list the four possible interactive exceptions coming from Fluent. You'll see that there's a yes no question exception, an unquoted string exception, a generic question exception, 
and a menu get question exception. In this example, we know that a yes no question error is being returned. That way we'll catch that exception and decide what output we want to gather from it. Back in MATLAB, we will issue the following script. You'll notice this script issues the report summary command with a dash question mark. Fluent will then issue the exception as before. However, we will catch the specific exception here with the E yes no question. And then we'll display the exact prompt from Fluent using the question prompt with default answer as specified in the ANSYS documentation. I'll run this code and you'll notice the output is indeed the exact prompt returned from Fluent. I'll clear the workspace and the commands and then we can expand on our code as follows. You'll see that we've added a number of lines to our script. One of them is a new variable I know how to clarify which is initially set to false. We'll issue the same report summary command with the dash question mark. We'll catch the exception as before. However, this time we'll use this logical variable and set it to true. Once we know we've caught the exception, we can then add an additional if statement to check if the B I know how to clarify is set to true, and then we know enough to reissue the command with the required no argument. We are again adding on the dash question mark so that Fluent will throw an exception if additional input is required. The last line is there only for clarity, which will print out only the first few lines of input. When I hit enter, notice that we get the prompt from Fluent. We're catching that exception and reissuing the command with the report summary no already specified. Then you'll see the first few lines of the output from the report summary command. I'll again clear the workspace and clear the command window and display another similar example. In this case, we are issuing the report summary yes command. And again, the dash question mark. We know from Fluent that Fluent will prompt us with a file name that we want to print out the report summary to. In this case, our exception is called eread unquoted string since Fluent is prompting us for a file name string. We catch the exception, display back to the user the default Fluent prompts, then our final selection of code reissues the report summary command with the yes and the file name is specified. After hitting enter to run the script, you'll see the report summary file name and the default file name is reported from Fluent. Again, we reissued that command with yes, report sum, and you'll see that I now have a file called report sum in my directory structure. I'll open up the file and you'll see the output from report summary is in the file. Again, additional details on the specific exceptions are in the ANSYS documentation. There's also a section on using interactive prompting, which details the use of the dash question mark and an example code at the bottom of the page if you are using Python. This concludes the demonstration showing how Fluent prompts the user if an incomplete command is given and how to handle the exceptions from Fluent through scripting in MATLAB.